Kanda. Deli ya ne tür karı çumba dinge. Kanda de çiğe geçer gibi mangoş tutu dinge. Dinge inci nalol ya tam bu tek kaşeci. Deşe şu bir ne paja çiçe neyin kuranzu pape. Yurindi deli ya ingen ya kanda pekiye tali ya kuranzu miman tali ya deşe. Deli ne tür karı çumba dinge şu bir dinge şu çaba da. Yani de deli ya kabce şimsenin bu çiçe ne ya. Yani man tali ya kalıpçı yor hindi kali ya. Di tulia jarona cishui. Because we have so many media here today, before addressing what happened to the Tibetan people in our language, I want to address in English to the media here as to what just happened here. Three brave Tibetans set on hunger strike in front of the United Nations headquarters here exactly 30 days ago today. Today marked the 30th day by these three brave Tibetans on hunger strike without eating any food to show their solidarity with the Tibetan people suffering inside Tibet and appealing the United Nations to intervene, demanding UN's intervention in the critical situation in Tibet. 30 days, and today, on the 30th day, the three Tibetans here, with their sacrifice, as you can see how frail they are, how weak they are. One of the hunger strikers is already in hospital. He's not eating in the hospital either. And you have all seen the conditions of the two. So 30 days. And we finally opened the doors of the United Nations today. What you all just saw is a victory for the Tibetan people. And victory not just for the Tibetan people, but victory to a nonviolent struggle of the Tibetan people. And I stress nonviolent struggle of the Tibetan people because the Tibetan people has been caught in between a rock and a hard place. 53 years of Chinese occupation. 53 years of oppression. We have gone through a lot. And for us, under the leadership of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, hunger strike and self-immolations are the last two resorts of our nonviolent struggle. And let me say this very clearly. As of now, the Tibetan struggle is a nonviolent struggle. We don't know what directions the Tibetan struggle would go forward, going forward. What direction the Tibetan struggle will take place. Tibetan people are tired. Tibetan people are completely against the illegal occupation of Tibet and oppression of the Tibetan people by the Chinese government. And that is why we have Buddhist monks and nuns setting themselves on fire, hoping institutions like the United Nations and the rest of the world would hear their cries for freedom, for independence of Tibet, and for return of our leader, His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, to Tibet. Having said that, what we have here today, and again, because of the sacrifice by the brave, three brave Tibetans here, and most importantly, by our brothers and sisters inside Tibet. The United Nations heard the Tibetan people today. They have finally heard us today, after a long time. And this is a victory. This is a victory that we, the Tibetan people, will build on going forward. And we will continue to knock on the doors of the United Nations until we regain Tibet's independence and until we return our leader, His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, to Tibet where he rightfully belongs. And today, 
because of all these factors. Mr. Parfait Onanga. Mr. Parfait Onanga, representative of the Secretary, UN Secretary General, along with Mr. Richard Bennett, special advisor to the Assistant Secretary General of Human Rights, the two representatives from the United Nations visited the hunger strikers here today, as you just saw, and they handed us a letter signed by the High Commissioner for Human Rights, Ms. Navi Pillay, and approved, and I must stress, this letter is approved by the UN Secretary General. And let me conclude, this is a small victory for us. We will build on this victory and we will, we will free Tibet, we will return His Holiness the Dalai Lama to Tibet. And lastly, I want to thank the media here today. The media plays a great role everywhere in all corners of the world. And on this issue of Tibet, some media, we have Margaret Bashir here from VOA, and I don't see Kristen from Al Jazeera here, but Margaret was the one who initiated along with Kristen from Al Jazeera. They are the ones who started bugging the United Nations during the press conference, daily press briefing in the United Nations headquarters. And that is how we got, that is how we got them talking on this. And with the talk started, we pushed it. I had meetings with them all along, all these days. I've been meeting them all along, personally, and talking about what's going on inside Tibet, what's going on here with the three Tibets. And finally, finally today, we were able to move the United Nations. We were able to bring them here. And this is a victory for Tibet. This will be a victory, a step that we will use going forward. We will free Tibet and we will return His Holiness the Dalai Lama to an independent Tibet. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Yes, he did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I don't know yet, but he knows it. Thank you. Hey, Jello! Hey, Jello! Hey, Jello! Okay. How about you, Shuna? The letter. You want this, or is it okay? Yeah. Okay. The letter from the High Commissioner for Human Rights states that the three Tibetans sitting here on hunger strike was notified to them with a letter signed by me as the president of Tibetan Youth Congress, the largest non-governmental organization of Tibetans in exile, and that the United Nations has asked special rapporteurs to investigate on what's going on inside Tibet, and they will continue to engage with the Chinese government on the situation inside Tibet. And that's as far as I can remember. But like I said, this is a small victory. We will build on this. And we are calling off this hunger strike indefinitely. We're not completely closing this hunger strike. We're ca uh, calling off this hunger strike indefinitely, keeping in mind the progress that we have made so far. What's in the letter? We will call off this hunger strike indefinitely. And going forward, we will see how the responses would be from the United Nations, and we will, if need be, act accordingly, especially keeping in mind the situation inside Tibet. So when we are the special rapporteur,